is good. La comida es rica. I like to eat it. Me gusta comerla. I like fruit. Me gusta la fruta. Hola, vecinos y vecinas. Like Welcome to Senor Vecino's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make the ew, liver and onions. Uh, I say ew because so many people just seem to think it's uh, just not a very tasty product. A lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it. But I'm going to show you Senor Vecino's way and you're going to love it. All you've got to do is make sure you make this thing. Make this recipe, don't just watch it on YouTube. The ingredients are quite simple. The finished product is absolutely tender, almost sweet, very delicious, and mm, oh, ay que bueno, señor vecino. Okay, let me show you the ingredients. Here's the U factor. Liver is a very bloody looking piece of meat. I put it on a paper towel just to display. <laughs> I mean, CSI <laughs> would probably uh, be able to use something like this in one of their videos. <laughs> but uh, this is a, a calf liver. You can use the uh, what what's called beef liver out there. This is this is of course beef, but it's calf liver, a little bit more tender. It cooks out a little more tender than uh, your typical aged beef or older beef. Uh, it's okay. You can use regular uh, beef liver. That's fine. And uh, these are the parts that we're going to remove here. And I'll show you a little bit. I'm going to slice this. They're going to look um, uh, about like bacon. Okay. So that's one of the uh, ingredients here. Here's the others. One uh, medium-sized white onion. You're going to need uh, two tablespoons of uh, butter. Three cloves of garlic. Some pickled serrano peppers. Depending on your uh, lighten, likeness of heat, I've got three. I would probably myself, I could eat a whole. In fact, check this out because this is how I love these things. They are so good, so hot. Mmm. I wonder how that is on my uh, liver and spleen. I don't know. That's This is what that is. Uh, these are green pickled serrano peppers. You're going to need a few slices. I think I'm going to use about uh, four slices of uh, bacon. Balsamic vinegar. Olive oil, which is going to go uh, with the butter. Some all-purpose flour, salt, and pepper. Okay, that's your basic ingredients. Let's get started. Put your bacon in until uh, it's fairly well fried on both sides. Uh, kind of crisp. I'm trying to focus right now, but there we go. I hope. Uh, kind of crisp. It doesn't have to be uh, very crispy, but uh, you are going to tend to break it up a little bit in a little while. I hope you can see that. Once that bacon is fried, then I'm going to add uh, some butter, and then we're going to uh, prep the onions. The onions, the garlic, uh, that'll be going in next. To the bacon grease. You 
put in. Uh, see how uh, these are, uh, they're not chopped. These onions are uh, just pretty much uh, left in little circles. And uh, what we're going to do with these is uh, pretty much saute them. They don't have to be caramelized, but you can certainly do that if you like. Uh, me, I'm always pressed for time, but right now, uh, let's see how I work out these ones. Okay, so that's the bacon grease. And here is uh, one tablespoon of butter. And you see how the onions are. Now you add your garlic, the chopped serranos, break up the bacon. This is going in the onions, not in the liver. Just let that saute for a few minutes, three or four minutes. I've got the bacon, the garlic, and the onions, and the serrano peppers, and no salt, no pepper, not yet. Remove that from the pan, put it into a bowl. Now, remove it from the pan, put it into whatever you want to put it into. Some flour. Put it over your already sliced uh, liver that I show you. They look like uh, about the size of strips of bacon. And uh, make sure they all get covered up. Here, you're going to sprinkle this with a little salt and pepper. And then we're going to carefully put them in the, in the frying pan. Pull them apart, and make sure that they're all well floured. A little salt, a little pepper, now the other tablespoon of butter. Olive oil, just put, uh, let's see, two tablespoons, how's that? So now you got two tablespoons of oil, one tablespoon of butter. Let that get heated up. Butter's melted, the pan is hot. Now I put the strips of liver, lay them in there. We only cook them for about two minutes on each side. Liver should be uh, lightly cooked. Little pink in the center is fine. Flip it over. Put the other side. About two minutes to per side. Now I'm going to plate it up. I have made enough here for two to serve two, and that's more than enough in there to serve two.
This is the uh, balsamic vinegar. Always get a good quality. This is, uh, what you want is one that's not really a vinegar. This one's a little bit uh, liquidy. It's not so thick as a as a the best absolute best quality, but uh, it's probably out of most of our budgets anyway. And all you do is you just lay a little bit like this on there. Leave the onions and bacon untouched. Okay, now let's let's taste that. Look how tender that looks. Okay, here we go. The balsamic vinegar is what adds a little bit of sweetness to the uh, to the liver. If you only let the liver cook about two minutes for each side with a flat, thin piece such as this, then you have a very tender uh, piece of meat and um, easy to um, to go down. This is absolutely delicious. There's no U factor here. I que bueno. I'm going to try the uh, onions with the bacon and the serranos in it. Mmm. Having um, the balsamic vinegar on the meat alone, in contrast with the spiciness of the um, peppers that are in uh, the onions and the bacon, great combination. I'm telling you, vecinos and vecinas, you've got to try this version. Senor Vecinos, liver and onions. Ay, que bueno. That's what I always... Ay, que bueno, señor vecino. Food is good. La comida es rica. I like to eat it. Me gusta comerla.